there, this is Lepsy. I am finally back with another YouTube video. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to make one lately. I've uh, had a lot of stuff going on in my life. Some of it good, some of it really not good. Um, and it's just kind of made it hard for me to make videos lately. I haven't had a whole lot of free time in general. So I'm sorry about that. Um, and I'll try my best to kind of get back on track with making videos. Uh, but for today, I'm just going to do um, the pickups that I got for the last two months because I didn't get around to making one in May. So there's quite a few books here because I haven't stopped buying manga in the meantime. Um, so I'll just show you everything I got for the months of May and June. Uh, so I don't really want to... I don't really have anything else to say, so we'll just get right into it, I guess. Um, so the first one that I got was a continuation of a series that um, I bought last month, or I suppose it would be in April I started it, and that's called Everyone's Getting Married. So I bought Volume 3, Volume 4, And volume 5. I'm really enjoying this series so far. It's like your typical uh, shoujo romance, um, but just with kind of uh, a little bit of an older character, um, or their characters are a little bit older, so it's a bit nicer for me because it's a little more relatable. Um, so it's kind of focused around marriage than just... Uh, like the normal boyfriend girlfriend high school romance um so like the main characters have uh careers and they're kind of past the whole like um teenage drama i suppose and so they're thinking about marriage and considering like who do they want as their uh partner for the rest of their life so it's kind of nice to get that kind of romance um and then I also continued with Horamiya, which is back to the uh, high school romance, but I still find it really enjoyable. I love how the characters um, aren't like your typical, like, super popular, or like the main girl is kind of typical, super popular, but then, like, she's really just acts that way in school, so it's kind of nice um, to not be so, like, stereotypical of, like, I don't know, they're not they're not perfect, I suppose. So it's nice to see that it's kind of down to earth and not kind of like making these characters like way too perfect. So I bought volume three, sorry, I was chatting during that. Uh, volume four. Volume five. I really love the covers and the spines on these. The colors are so pretty. It looks so nice just sitting on your shelf because they've got like all of these really bright neon colors. <laughs> um, I kind of want to buy more just to have like a giant line of all of these volumes on my shelves with these pretty colors. So I'm excited to get more of those. Uh, that was volume six. And then next up, I picked up uh, just one volume of Kamisama Kiss. I'm slowly starting to catch up with this series, still enjoying it, um, I think not this volume but the one before ended with a cliffhanger and they just resolved a story arc, so I'm kind of excited to see where the story goes after that. Um, and then the next thing I picked up, I'm not sure if you can tell but I kind of went on a shoujo kick recently, um, I love happy romance stories so course I had to get some more my love story. I find when I'm down um, reading something like happy and sweet always tends to cheer me up and that's kind of what I go for so that's why I think I probably went towards these volumes the last few months. So I got volume four of my love story, volume five, volume six, Oh, I'm throwing manga. <laughs> volume 7. And volume 8. 
I really like this series. I can't wait to buy some more. But I think it's ending on like volume 12 maybe, so I'm also a little sad to catch up because then that means that I won't have much more to go before it's over, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I think this mangaka also did uh, High School Debut, yes, that's it. Um, I know I had read a little bit of that um, back when I was first reading manga, so... I don't know, maybe I might pick that up once I finish my love story and get back into that series because I remember enjoying it a lot. Um, and then the last thing I got as a continuation, uh, it actually just came in the mail today, so technically not a June pickup. I bought it in June, but I got it today, but I figured I'd just throw it in anyway because what the heck, why not? And that is volume 9 of Vinland Saga. I have not read this yet. It's probably what I will be doing as soon as I finish um, this video. So yeah, I was really excited to get this in the mail and I can't wait to read it. Um, and then I did start a few new series. Uh, the first one is Dreamin' Sun. It's by the creators of Orange, and uh, to be honest, when I looked at it, I didn't even notice that. The first thing I noticed was how adorable this artwork looks. I absolutely love this cover and this art style, so I'm really excited to pick up some more of it. But I did read um, this first volume, and it was really good. It reminded me a lot of um, Fruits Basket, uh, except... There's no supernatural elements, at least not so far. Um, but it still had like that really happy, uplifting feel to it. So I really liked this first volume and can't wait to read more. Uh, the other one I picked up is called Flying Witch. Again, the art style really drew me in. I love this cover too. Uh, I read this first volume and I did really like it. Not quite as much as Dream and Sun. I read them one after the other. I think I bought them on the same day too. Uh, but it just seems like a really cute series. Um, again, this one has the supernatural element, so I, element, sorry, can't talk. Um, so I got it, uh, this one, and the little quote on the back was what really sold me on it, and it just says that this series emphasizes that while actual magic is nice, there's ultimately magic in everything. And that just sounded so sweet. I thought it was cute, so... I picked this one up. Um, and then volume two also came in the mail today with Vinland Saga. I haven't gotten to read this yet, but this cover is also amazing. I'm in love with this artwork. So this will be another thing that I'll be reading today. And I'm looking forward to it. Although I think I'll probably be reading Vinland Saga first. <laughs> um, oh, still throwing manga. Jeez. Okay. Um, Next thing I got is The Heroic Legend of Arslan, and this is another new series I started. It's from the creator of Full Metal Alchemist, so I was really interested to see um, what this series was like. Although, I realized later that the story isn't actually by um, the creator of Full Metal Alchemist, it's just the artwork. But... I don't know, I'm kind of assuming that uh, they wouldn't agree to do the artwork on a story they didn't like. So, yeah, I bought volume one, and I bought volume two, and so far this series has been really good. Um, I am excited to read more of it. Um, I've noticed that like some of the, um, the artwork is kind of very similar to Full Metal Alchemist, and I know that's kind of expected, but... Um, what I mean by that is that some of the characters, let's see if I can find a picture, look very similar to some of the ones in um, Full Metal Alchemist. So, like, to me, this guy looks exactly like Greed, and uh, the main character really does kind of look like, um, oh, come on, focus, camera, uh, look a lot like, uh, like, similar to Ed and Alphonse. My camera doesn't want to focus, but yeah. Anyway, I'm sure you get the picture. Uh, so I just have one more thing to show for pickups, and it's pretty big, so I'm just going to clean off the table and I'll get back. Okay, 
So the last thing I got for the months of May and June was a box set. And this box set has been on my wish list for quite a while now. Um, and the reason I bought it now is because uh, it's been unavailable from chapters and uh, where else would I buy it from? Like Book Depository and Amazon for quite a while. So when I finally saw that chapters actually said they had some um, in stock, I kind of jumped on it because I've been panicking that they weren't going to be producing it in a box set anymore and so I didn't want to miss out on getting this box set before it went out of print because buying the volumes individually, individually would be kind of expensive. So I bought the Bakuman box set. Um, I've wanted this one for quite a while like I said mostly because I really enjoyed Death Note and I was really curious to see how the two mangaka would create a slice of life series because Death Note is pretty... Oh, that's... My bed is a mess. Don't mind that. Um, Death Note is pretty, uh, I don't know, like very psychological and very dark. So I was curious what this would turn out to be. Um, so, so far, I'll show you the inside. There are 20 volumes, and I have read up to volume 14, or 13 actually, I'm on volume 14 to read. So I'm over halfway through, and I've been loving this series so far. It's really good. There is still a lot of um, like analytical elements to the series, a lot of like um, thinking involved, which I think is just kind of a part of... Uh, are kind of expected with these two mangaka's um, series now, or at least with me it is. So, you know, there's a lot of text in these volumes. I find that it takes me, you know, like over an hour to read one of these books, whereas other series I can probably just get through in like uh, 45 minutes, half an hour to read one volume. So that's one thing I really like about this. Um, so I don't know, do you guys want me to show you the covers? I suppose I will. They're kind of hard to get back in there though. Um, so here's volume one. For some reason, my camera is not focusing very well. Uh, next up is volume two. Volume three. I do find that um, some of the things that have happened in um, the series seems a little tough to get around. Like, uh, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but like, it's hard to believe that all of that would really happen to a manga author. But like, maybe it does, and it's been kind of eye-opening that uh, like all of this is really involved with creating a series. I'm sorry, my camera is being a jerk. It doesn't want to focus. It's not really showing off the artwork all that well. But I'm excited to get to the end. I really hope these two characters achieve their dreams. It's um, surprising how invested you get in the characters. Uh, because, like every volume I'm cheering on like everyone and I love that they've created a series where even the like I don't know if you could call them bad guys but like the rivals are someone that you want to cheer for so I find that this series even when it has like sad points is still very like uplifting and fun to read because everyone is so encouraging of each other and so supportive This is the volume I'm on that I've yet to read. I haven't actually seen the covers past volume 14 because I've just been leaving them in the box. So this is kind of exciting for me. Oh, I like that one. I love the colors. And I love um, this character. I can't pronounce their names, but he is pretty friggin' awesome. He is a genius. 
Oh, that one's cute. There's another one. I don't know if... Oh, that must be the Otter 11 guy. <laughs> it's a different outfit. Oh, that one's pretty. And final volume. All right, and it also came with a poster and a copy of Otter number 11, um, like a spin-off. And then, oh, that's cute. There's little details inside the box. Yeah, and I suppose I can show the side, the back. This whole series just has amazing artwork, which I think is to be expected from this couple, or this duo. Anyway, that is everything I bought for, um... May and June so I guess my next video I still have to do the top three tag um, that I was tagged in like months ago I have most of the answers written up I've just been kind of dawdling on a few um, that I left so that should hopefully be up in the next week or so I'm not going to make a lot of promises to say that I'll have it done by next week for sure but I'm going to try my best to get back on track with making videos. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!